video and today I just wanted to show you um, a couple of candles that I got for Christmas. I absolutely love candles, I've loved candles for years and I saw these on the Marks and Spencer website. I, I, I think I was looking at pyjamas or something because I love their pyjamas and then I came across these as a suggested item and I just thought they were just really really beautiful candles. So, me being a candle lover, I thought I would try a couple. And I've never tried candles before from Marks and Spencers, so I was really curious. So these are actually light up candles, which I have never tried before. What I'll do in a minute is I'll dim the lighting and show you how they work. And this one in particular I absolutely love because all the way round you've got like a, it's like a Christmas scene. And I had this in my bedroom on Christmas Day evening, right next to the TV, and it was just lovely. But I'll show you what it looks like when it's lit up. And this one is scented with mandarin, cinnamon and clove, so it's very Christmassy. And I absolutely love the scent of this one. It's not too strong either, which I don't like candles when they're too strong, give you a headache. This one was just right. If I show you inside, so you've got a centre bit where the candle is and then all around the edge there's like this jelly and that's where the little LED lights are and I think there's a little sensor in the wick that when you light it, it then activates the LED lights around the edge. It does say the burn time on these is 20 hours. I have burnt this one for seven and a half hours so far, so I am counting. So what I can do is I can let you know how long it does last. And then the other one I thought was lovely and I just absolutely love Paris. It's one of my favorite cities that I've been to so far. So when I saw this one, I thought, yeah, I've got to give this one a go. And this one is scented with neroli lime and bergamot. So I thought, yeah, I'm gonna like those scents as well. And once again, the scent is not really in your face. It's quite subtle, which is absolutely perfect for me. But yeah, just look at the design of it all the way around. So you can just turn it around if you want to. I have got some which are predominantly for either Valentine's Day, Mother's Day. So I will feature those in another video. So that will be coming up next just so that you know whether it's something worth buying to light them up. So yeah, I just love it. I just love the, the design and the, all the glitter. Oh, I love glitter. If you've seen my Lush Bath Bombs, you know I like glitter, but I just think they're really cool. And the fact they've got a design all the way around as well, I just think is really, really clever. So yeah, I absolutely love these candles. So yeah, well done, Marks and Spencers. But I am going to see how long they last, because obviously I want to make sure it does, it does last the 20 hours as they stipulate. And because I love these two candles, I actually bought two more which I'll show you now and I haven't tried them yet. I bought two more in the sales. The other one I got, so this is how it comes. So it comes with a seal on top and then when you go to use it you just pull it back. And this one lights up as well and it's neroli lime and bergamot but it doesn't have like a, a city skyline or a design or anything. There you go, so you've got the price on the back there, so £10. And the other one I got, um, and this was in the sale, and I don't know if you, you can appreciate how glittery it is on camera. This is just so pretty and shimmery, and it's a little Christmas tree. And this one also lights up. I oh, obviously haven't tried it yet. There you go, still got the tag on it. And this one was on sale for £5, so I thought I would give it a try. This one was originally £12.50, so I thought £5 was quite a good, good, quite a good price, considering the original price. This one is unscented, so um, if you don't like scenting candles, they do do unscented candles as well. But I just love the design of this one. This one was actually prettier when it arrived in reality than I saw on the picture. So what I'll do is I will take the tag off and then I can light these up for you as well so you can see 
what these two are like, just to give you an idea. Okay, so I've dimmed the lighting again. So yeah, once again, it lights up all the way around. And I think they had some that had a silver lighting system or they had one that was gold, but I fancied silver. Um, yeah, I have to try getting this sticker off. I have read some comments where they say the stickers are quite difficult to get off, so I'll give that a go in a minute. But yeah, let's light up this little Christmas tree. Apparently you don't even need to touch the wick in it and it lights up, it just senses heat. There you go, see so I haven't lit it and it is sensing the heat. But yeah, it's cute, isn't it? I'm probably not, actually, I won't light it because I, I will probably save this one for next year. But yeah, what I'll do is I'll, I've got a little gold dish to put under this little Christmas tree. So um, yeah, I'll do that next year. But yeah, I love that, especially for five pounds. It's just really pretty. So I will continue counting how many hours I get from them. And at the end of this video, I will let you know yeah, if you want me to do any other candle videos, just let me know. I'm happy to do that because I do love them. I've also got some from Beauty Pie as well, which I can review and show you. Quickly lit up the Christmas tree as well. I don't think my phone's coping with all the flickering of the candles. But yeah, let me know if you've tried any of these. Hey, so I'm quickly interjecting in because I've just finished um, one of the candles and I wanted to tell you how long it did last before I review the other ones. Yeah, I finished off the um, Parisian scene candle and this is what it looks like inside. So there is quite a bit of tunnelling in there but that's how far down it goes so it does go down. And yeah, that bottom bit, I tried lighting it again and it was having none of it. I think it would have stayed lit for a lot longer, but I was due to go to bed, so I had to blow it out. So in total, this candle lasted 12 hours and not 20 as stated. So I just wanted to say that quickly um, because I do have some other ones I'm going to be trying. So I'll also time those ones as well. Very quickly, this is another one that I've got. It's called Blooming Lovely. It's still on the website at the moment and I am trialling this one. So a demo on this one is coming up and then I'll give you a description of the scent as well. And then I've also got this heart one, which will be ideal for Valentine's Day or Mother's Day or just to treat yourself. I haven't tried this one either. So yeah, a video on these is coming up. And then the other thing I'm going to look into is I'm going to see if I can use these containers again because otherwise it just seems a complete waste, doesn't it? So, And also it's bad for the environment. So I'm going to have a look and see if I can reuse these somehow. And if you're interested in other candle videos, just let me know so I can show you what I've got and what I like using. And I've got some new ones that I haven't tried yet as well. If you like this video, don't forget to press the like button, subscribe if you want to, and I will catch you on the next one.